Clear skies and warm sunshine met the players on the third day of the Coca-Cola Kaya Majola Cricket Week. With the T20 shenanigans of day two behind them, the teams moved on to the more familiar limited 50 over format. Northwest were the only team heading into the third day with two wins out of two and they were hoping to continue their good run against Limpopo. Having won the toss and elected to bowl, Northwest were all over Limpopo, dismissing them for just 128. Off spinner Lesejo Senokwane was the destroyer in chief, taking 6 for 36 with some very disciplined bowling. The small target was chased down in a very measured approach by the batsmen, with Chepang Mochale, Ruan Pretorius, and Tommy LaRue all reaching 30. When we came here, we expected flat wickets and all that, so we had to change our mindset according to how we're going to play, but it's, it's, been, it's been good for our team, nevertheless. Southwestern districts met Namibia in a repeat of yesterday's drawn match. The Southern Cape side were in early trouble before captain Jean Hiernes played a composed innings. However, his dismissal on 48 marked the end for SWD as they were skittled out for just 141. In reply, Zane Green, the tournament's leading run scorer, continued his good run of form, scoring 52 not out to guide the Namibians to a nine-wicket win. Ja, ik kreeg nooit een easy score om te chasen. So, uh, en, en, het was een beetje moeilijk in het begin voor mij, maar gelukkig heb ik hem op een paar tien en het onze goede staat gegeven. Het goed begin. KZN Inland built their innings against Gauteng around a superb 80 from captain Jared Ely. A flurry of wickets towards the death restricted the Midlands team to 220 in their 50 overs. Gauteng went about the run chase calmly, with opening batsman Ryan Rickleton carrying his bat through the innings to record a brilliant unbeaten century. Gauteng claiming the win by seven wickets. I took my time up front. I knew they had a few good opening. Well, they had two good opening bowlers and lots to come after. I just wanted to get through that, and I know in the high felt uh, it flattens out come the afternoon. Border had Griquas in all kinds of trouble early on, as Sitembile Langa and Winray Christoffels picked up two wickets apiece. Ruben Fasaki led the fight back with a fine 50 before being removed by Tim Nimant. Border, needing 182 for victory, had their skipper Batando Isaac to lead from the front. Isaac was dismissed for 49 by Wiley spinner Matthew Rolland. However, Border soldiered on and Christoffels was the man to hit the winning runs. There were four other matches that took place on day three. A four-wicket haul from Luke Philander helped Boerland to a two-wicket win over EP. Solid performances from Tabangs Koko and Benny Fanikak saw Mpumalanga down Easterns. Free State defended Amiga 103 to defeat KZN Coastal by just six runs. Fifties from Vili Ludic and Henko Forsman were not enough as Northerns fell just short of Western Province's total. A much better day for cricket it was, with all eight matches being completed. Ryan Rickleton and Lesejo Senokwane were the headline grabbers, but tomorrow is a whole new ball game and expect plenty more future stars to rise.